So this is part two of a uh, two-part saga on torque measurement. And in part one, we looked at how torque measurement can be achieved uh, in a mechanical system. And in this part, we're going to look how it is achieved using uh, electrical uh, system. So uh, here I have my power turbine. And I have a reference shaft and I have a torque shaft. So this shaft, torque shaft, is going to the reduction gearbox and that's driving uh, my propeller. On the torque shaft, I have uh, a magnet and on the reference shaft, I also have a magnet. And opposite these magnets is a coil. So uh, here we are looking in. So this is the torque shaft inside the, the reference shaft. So what's going to happen is when, when the shafts turn, every time the magnet passes the pickup coil, it'll generate a signal. And the signal generator here will look at that signal and will do some analysis on it and then will output the torque as a percentage. So, how does it do it? Okay, <clears throat> so if I look at the torque shaft, so as, it, as it's rotating, so let's say it's rotating around here, as it comes to the, to the coil, as it passes the coil, if I just go back, as it passes the coil, it induces a voltage in the coil. So let's just look at that one again. So as it passes, the magnetic flux lines cut the coil and that induces a voltage in the coil so we get that we get that in, induced uh, spike now when we apply uh, a torque so let's say we're driving the, the propeller uh, we, we saw in part one of this video that when we apply a torque there will be a, a twisting of the shaft uh, due to the applied torque. And the greater the torque, the greater the angle of twist theta here. Uh, again, in part one, we saw that the angle of twist theta is the torque times some constant. So the shafts are out of phase, if you like. So there's this angle of twist between this part and this part due to this, this torque reaction. So when the shafts rotate, as they rotate, they're inducing a voltage in uh, the coils. And the signal generator here is looking at the phase angle between the induced voltages. So it's looking at the phase angle between the uh, reference coil and the torque coil. And that phase angle theta will be equal to the angle of twist theta here. And if we have the angle and we multiply it uh, or divide it by a constant, uh, we can get the torque. And that torque then can be um, displayed on this torque meter. Um, normally, uh, on turboprops, the torque is calibrated in percent. Uh, but it can it can be displayed in newton meters or um, foot pounds, etc. But normally it's in percent. All right, so that's the electrical torque measurement system. 